There's only two ways to make fat look good, dude. Cook some cracklings or put a nipple on it. Let's get it, dude. I'm doing a more traditional pork skins. Back fat with skin takes about six hours. That's a long time. It's going to break in this new Bayou Classic pot just nice. So let's get hydrated, dude. Uh. I'm doing more of a traditional poke skin. I got 30 pounds of back fat with the skin. Six hours. The fire is really, really low. And over those six hours, that temperature is going to climb. It's going to make them pop real nice at the end. Worst thing you could do is try to rush that, dude. Slow and slow, keep stirring. We'll bring you back. One hour in. Come look at this. Ain't much going on, but this is what I'm looking for. Look at that fat right there rendering down. We're going to fry the fat in its own fat, dude. We got the fire as low as it can go without going off. One hour in, we're coming back at you. Two hours in, look at that beautiful lard. Look at that. Melting it down nice. Things are about to heat up, I'm telling you. There's a pretty sight right here. Low and slow, two hours in. And then I'm going to strain that lard when we finish. And I'm going to fry some shoe pick in that. That's going to be good. That'd be another video, though. Check back in another hour, dude. A lot of time to hydrate. We're about two and a half hours in, and I know what y'all are going to say. Man, why you didn't leave the meat on there? Because I'm going to refry them at 415 degrees, and that meat will burn. So I'm going to fry them, and they're going to they're gonna puff up. You're going to see. I don't want that meat on there. All right, with four hours in, you can see that foam coming to the top. Look right here. You see them starting to blister up nice and pretty. Things are coming together really nice. A couple more hours and we'll be eating them cracklings, dude. Five hours in. Listen, listen. I hear some cracklings. Beautiful. Look at them blistering up nice. It's been about six hours. You can see them nice and blistered. They're starting to pop. We're going to take them out, let them cool, clean the grease, and then we're going to flash fry them, dude. Let's get it. Now what we're going to do is strain the grease off the top, get the good grease, and that's what we're going to use to flash fry them again. Then we're going to clean the bottom of the pot, get all that nasty stuff. That's what's going to burn when you get it over 400 degrees. We're about to make them pop, dude. I got that pot really clean. I'm going to add that roll right back to it. All right, we're about to crank up that fire. We're going to get it to about 410, and then we're going to pop them cracklings, dude. But while we wait, huh, we got to hydrate. We got that grease hot, hot. Let's pop these suckers. Don't take long, about 30 seconds. You can hear them. They're sitting it down, boy. Can you hear them popping, dude? Get closer there. Listen, listen. All right, time to pull them out. Let them cool off, dude. Watch your tools. All right, while they're very hot, that's when you want to hit them with that two-step, dude. Let it stick. I can smell that already, dude. Money. Listen to him. Go cut that. Let's see if we. Let's see if we can hear him pop, dude. Oh yeah, that's pretty right there. I can hear the chickens for sure. Yeah. Let's give it a little run, dude. Ain't gonna break your teeth, I promise you that. Put that on a cracker. Money, dude. Mm -mm -mm. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me in my crackling video. We got them all vacuum sealed. Put that in the freezer, dude. They stay good a long time in the freezer. And they came out, fire, dude. Mm -mm -mm. 
that's money. Thank y'all, dude.